I feel incomplete. There is nothing in my life that I can truly merge myself with. I feel incomplete. There's nothing in my life that I can truly merge myself with. I feel complete. She is truly the one that I can see myself spending the rest of my life with. I feel complete. She is truly the one that I can see myself spending the rest of my life with. There isn't anyone in the whole world that I can see myself becoming whole with as much, as, as, much as her. How did I think the film turned out? Uh, you know, it's no Citizen Kane, but I, I thought it was actually a pretty big success. Uh, it's got some faults in it. Um, Sometimes I, I, I question Lucas's direction of the film, but he's got a very particular um, sense of what he wants out of the film. He can be, be a tad controlling. Um, I like to be a little bit more experimental. And uh, he didn't really want to see that too much. Um, so it may have, been, may have been a bad decision casting me for it. I don't think, I think it was a bad move. Uh... It was good. Just, just working on we're, uh, movies and stuff. It's like, uh, you know, you really just gotta get in in the zone. And uh, yeah, I. It's like concrete cardboard uh, clawing into the sides of of the mountains. I think it's gonna be a really good movie. Got the idea for for slight adjustments when my my friend said I I was eligible to be the boyfriend of Megan. <laughs> yeah, so I thought, hey, that's a movie right there. I, I just like having people next to me. It makes me feel warm. And when that happened, I was gung-ho about meeting new people and having new adventures. Okay, so basically, there's these two cliques, and you've got the guy from one clique. Hey, so I met this new girl at the park today. I was just walking around, you know, and, and I, I saw her, and I don't know, I thought she was pretty nice, and we talked for a pretty long time. I feel like we could really make a lasting relationship together. Dude, that sounds freaking lame. Have you tapped that yet? Nah, man, I, girls are cool. I respect them, and I... Dude, you need a Kleenex or something? Because you're starting to sound like a bitch! The girl from the other clique. Ah! And they just... Their, their groups, like, don't mesh. So, they, being the people that they are, are just like... We are gonna break free from the constraints of our cliques because... They just want to just go with the flow. Uh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> and, like live life with each other and just be happy, you know. And sometimes pisses people off, which is when we get into the conflict in the story, which is a secret. So like, it's just a good. It's. I mean, it's just like. We wanted to explore how two people, two groups of friends or seemingly the complete opposite of each other can find unity. Be happy. Hey, so Abigail, you wanna like do, I mean like go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, a thousand, yes, for sure. Mm-hmm, yes. Yes, a thousand times yes. Okay. Um, I think this script is really cool because it just, it's, it's, it seems real to me, it seems natural, and like, for it to be as natural as it feels, it's just like, brings us down to the earth that Mother Guy has created for us, and it's just, I can, f when, I, when I'm filming it, it's just like, oh, look at these trees, 
around us and the grass smells so good and the, the, the breeze, it just overwhelms me with all of her creation. It's just beautiful and it just everywhere, I just everywhere. Uh, well, huh, working with Tom, it was pretty, it was a pretty enjoyable experience. I definitely think he's got more of a different approach to acting than I do. I'm more of a method actor, as you may know. <sighs> we definitely could bring Tom maybe in about a half hour before we start shooting the scene and we give him his lines. And then he goes and he gives a stellar performance, finishes up for the day, and goes home. Uh, me, on the other hand, I like to, you know, prepare for a few months in advance. <sighs> I'm ready. And then I come in and do my scenes. Uh, I sort of came up with the idea for Tyler's character by, um... Well, I prepared for it a lot, mostly by sitting in a sauna for extended periods of time and uh, and when you do that um, well one is not good but you know I, I became Tyler you know um I get into the mindset of Abigail by like channeling my little sister because I see a lot of her in Abigail so I just kinda take a deep breath before I go on set and I just Breathe in Abigail, breathe out April. It's the dentist's office, and it's where I like to go and meditate and uh, take in the essences of tooth decay. So let me kind of do my thing. Um, you know, I worked with, like, George Stamnowski on the... The, f the Flight of the... W just one of my older movies, he's just not... It wasn't... And, uh... So, one of Steve's friends, Chad, played by Andrew Yerk, wanted to try some stand-up in the movie. That was fun... to see. Yeah, okay, so, uh, I was just, uh, hanging out with my mom, and <laughs> we were chilling, we were playing, we were playing, uh, we were playing bridge, I think that's what it's called, <laughs> and I was like, mom, why are we, why are we playing this game, this is stupid, and she's like, you be nice, you play this game, and I was like, ma, shut up, I don't want to play this freaking game, and she's like, you play, and I was like, ma, I don't want to play this game, and I was like, I just let, I just walked out, <laughs> and I was like, I want to play that game. Abigail, the love of my life, I am so happy that we can share all of these moments together, and I just don't know what to say, so this will be the best. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't do this, I can't. Uh, what, what's wrong? What, what's wrong? I can't. Hey. This is stupid. Was it me? Hey, hey guys, it's it's all good. Uh, <laughs> uh if if, chill, if we just work together, I'm I'm sure we can help each other out in friendship. Okay, what you do what you want to do, and we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. All right. <laughs> That's cool, man. <laughs> You're sweet. Man. Uh, cool. Okay, three, two. Oh, hey, there we go. High fives. Double in the and in front. Oh. Being with someone like that is so magical to. Because here's one person, here's another person. They're coming together. Nature brought us together, and that's just such a magical thing. Like, we became one. And. I just think that's so amazing. He probably asked out probably all the female actresses um, at least once. Do you want to go out? Okay. Thank you. No. Thank you. The scene with the army, with the, when we were doing that scene, 
It was, you know, like, kind of for just, like, doing, you know, there's just too many wars, and the best of them um, just aren't good enough, so that's why. The army! So dumb. Like, this whole movie is just like, there's so many hidden messages in it. Like, if we paid enough attention, if we paid as much attention to like the flowers and the trees as we do to like what's happening in like wars and stuff, can you imagine how much of a better place we would be living in if we cared more? about nature and just like make love not war you know I really wanted my character to go to the army and like die overseas or some some stuff some shit like that but you know Lucas was just like oh no you're just you know just no and then I was like uh okay so but whatever you know End of the day, I, I get my check and my money, and I buy clothes. There are going to be a thousand emotions coming at you right at once. Happiness, sad, anxiety, sad. Everyone worked really hard on this movie, and I'm really proud all of them. Definitely pretty interesting. I mean, I think my favorite part was definitely getting to know all the people on the set because they're just, we're just mesh. It was like a fountain spring on a youthful summer morning. It was good.